What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's Division 2 video, it's going to be more of like a tips and tricks, maybe kind of like a bug video type of deal for new and returning players. If you already have all of your exotics and they're all proficient in God rolled, what have you, especially the new ones that just came out, then this video might not be for you or maybe you just didn't know about this and you can get the newer exotics up to a god roll status fairly simple so sit back relax grab that popcorn don't forget to hit that like subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i know a lot of you have been uh, asking me about uh, the new exotic blueprints and wanting me to talk about it so i'm going to explain the pros the cons and who this will you know affect the most so if you haven't yet hit the thumbs up support and uh let's move on now this is on my dod playstation clan so shout out to the uh dod over there on playstation and right now we're having a nice little friendly competition here me and kg you guys can see the leaderboard right now currently for the uh, clan xp I'm trying I'm trying to hold on to the top, but I don't think I can. This guy is a machine. But anyways, let's uh let's talk about these new exotics. So the three new exotics that were introduced in season nine for gear items, you have the catharsis. For weapons, you have the blue screen, and then you have the dread edict. So uh, for these three, they just introduced the blueprints to uh, these three new exotics. And when they did, they kind of... Uh, they, either this was done on purpose or it's not working as intended. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. However, if you go over here to the crafting, well, first, you have to talk to Anaya and you have to make sure you pick up all of those blueprints. So if you haven't done that yet, pick up the Catharsis Blue Screen and Dread Edict Blueprint. And then you come over here to the crafting. It's pretty simple. Just toggle all the way down to reconfigure. Now, if you do this, you can see on the right side of your screen all of the requirements in order to reconfigure your exotic. Now, let me explain this. So the reconfigure part for your exotic is you actually have to trade in your exotic that you have and then reconfigure it and hope that you get better stats than you had before. For example, um, if I talk about the, okay, the Scorpio right here. So this Scorpio has two out of the three maxed out completely. Now, if I wanted to reconfigure it, I would go to the crafting station, toggle all the way down to reconfigure, go down to the Scorpio, and then once you do that, you can see on the right side of your screen, it would actually require me to give them my Scorpio. And you can see my Scorpio has two out of the three already maxed out. So I would have to give that up, reconfigure it, and hope that I get those two maxed out again and hope that I get a higher armor damage roll. However, we all know that when you reconfigure your exotics, it's rolling the dice, and you could get all of these, like, you know, not even halfway, and then you'd have to reconfigure it again, and then reconfigure it again until you finally hit, you know, the ones that you want. Now, thankfully, they introduced the optimization station. So over here at the recalibration, you can uh, click on optimize, and then I can go to shotguns and go to Scorpio, and then just optimize it. That way, I don't have to reconfigure it, and I don't have to give up this exotic, because I like that it has max shotgun and crit hit damage. So then you would just optimize your armor damage, and then you'd have your god rolled exotic. You don't have to give this one up. You don't have to use, you know, exotic components, nothing like that. And it makes life easier. So for everyone, if you have something, like here's my sweet dreams right here. Instead of me reconfiguring my sweet dreams and possibly losing those top two god rolled attributes, I can just optimize that damage to targets out of cover, and then I'm good to go.
So I would highly recommend you stay away from this crafting station when it comes to reconfiguring exotics unless you just have one with all really, really crappy rolls. Until these new exotic blueprints came out. And holy shit, check it out. Here's the blue screen right here. And if you notice on the right side of the screen, there is no giving up an exotic. Where you can see right here on the backfire, it says it would take a backfire with a score of 250 or above. You go to the blue screen, there's nothing. In fact, it's just like a normal crafting item. As long as you have the exotic components, you can craft it without giving up the one that you already have. So this kind of makes it easier for every new and returning player because this will give you the opportunity not only to keep what you have, but it'll also give you the opportunity to craft a god-rolled blue screen dread edict or catharsis without giving up the one that you already have and on top of that if you do not have these proficient you can do this and get all three of these new exotics proficient just by crafting them and then donating them into your expertise system and this is without giving up any of the exotics that you already have so for these three new exotics, it's the only exception to this reconfigure part of the crafting station. So you can technically keep crafting them over and over and over without giving up what you have. And that's what I'm going to do in this video, is I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to get mine god rolled, and then I'm going to try to get one of them proficient, because I'm on PlayStation right now. And that's why probably my mic doesn't sound as good because I'm not using my whole setup. I'm just using my PlayStation. And on top of that, none of my shit is really proficient. So right here, my blue screen, I mean, I'm barely even proficiency three. My dread edict, I'm proficiency zero. So I'll probably get that one proficient in this video. And then if I go to my catharsis, I'm rank one. So this is a perfect example for all of you new and returning people. And that's why I jumped on this account, because this account is not as far along as my Xbox account. My Xbox account, I'm like, I don't know, shade level 3700, something stupid. And I think I'm proficient or expertise rank 18 or some crap. Where in this one, I'm not even close to that. So I can show you prime examples of how this could benefit you new and returning people and people that probably just overlooked this so let's uh let's start now first let's uh pick the exotic that i want to aim for all right so my blue screen is pretty high up my dread edict is eh, i mean it's all right and my catharsis oh, okay so i have two out of three for my catharsis so i don't really want to touch that too much so let's see. So it's between the Dread Edict and the blue screen. Let's pick the Dread Edict. So I go over here, and I won't lose the Dread Edict that I have. So we're just going to try to get a God Rolled one while I'm going to make my Dread Edict fully proficient because I have enough exotic components, and I'm not in a spot where I need exotic components for my upgrades yet. So I still have some farming I can do. So here we go. So Dread Edict, you can see on the right side of the screen my requirements. Nothing on there says I have to give up a weapon. And I'll click uh, Craft. Boom. And it just gives you one. And this one has Max Marksman Rifle. All right, not bad. Let's do it again. Uh, nope, not as good. I don't have the right materials. So then I'm losing the receiver components. So then I go over here, I have one, so that's 9% damage to targets out of cover and 83. Let's see, 9% damage to targets out of cover and 103. But then I'm losing, eh, okay. So I don't really need either one of those. So then I can just sit here, deconstruct, and then I have my exotic components back. And then not only that, but it just gave me some receiver components. Oh, nope. It did not because it's exotic. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So here's my way around that, right? So you need receiver components. So go over here. You go to the pistol. The pistol is the cheapest one, right? And you just buy, I don't know, 
20 of them or so, right? Because all you need are a few receiver components. So then you do this a few times, blah, 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 blah. All right. And then go to your pistol and then just spam the junk button. There you go. Deconstruct. And now I have 400 more receiver components. And then go back over here to the Dread Edict. And scroll all the way down. Here we go. All right. So now I can do this another, what, another eight times before I have to buy some more pistols. So let's try for a god roll. Oh, damn. That's really low headshot, though. All right. Oh, man. Oh, close. And you can just keep doing this over and over. Oh, that one's max headshot. Uh, I will get a max one. We'll see. Ooh, two out of the three. Dang. All right. Come on. And you can just do this over and over as long as you have the materials. That one's pretty close. That one's really close. Dang. All right. I think I'll do two more. Ah, oh, two out of the three again with 83 on the headshot. That might be my best one so far. Oh, all right. So I'm also going to make sure that my Dread Edict is proficient in this video. So what I'm going to do is get rid of these. I had one that was double. All right, so we'll keep that one for now. So that's going to be our new highest. And then come over here, go to Expertise, Donate All Junk. All right. And then go back to it again. Oh, hold on. So I need receiver components, right? So then I can just smash the pistol a few times. And not too shabby. So you can do this for the catharsis. You can do this for the blue screen. And you can do this for uh, the Dread Edict, just like I'm doing. Now, the only problem is that it's going to cost you one exotic component per craft. So... Technically, if you have all of them at rank zero and you had 60 exotic components, you could craft 20 of each, donate them all, and then you would have all three fully proficient. And I guarantee if you did that and you crafted 20 of each, you'll probably have one that's god rolled and then just keep the god rolled one. That way you just keep the best one and then you just keep doing this just over and over. So here we go. More Dread Edict. Trying to get a god roll while making it proficient at the same time. Pretty sick. Now, if you already knew about this, let me know in the comments that you already knew. If you didn't, and this is something completely different, let me know as well. Oh, that one's oh, so close. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that thumbs up. We're always trying to uh, help everyone out. That's a good one. That's one recalibration away from God Roll. Dang. I'll probably keep that one, to be honest. Yeah, that might be my closest I'm going to get to it. We'll see. Nope. Come on. Keep going. And like I said, you can do this for all three. And I don't know if this is like a miscode... Um, whenever they introduced these blueprints, if they oversaw that part of it or what happened exactly. But this is uh, pretty damn cool. It's an easy way to get all your stuff up as long as you have the components. All right, I think this might be the last one. All right. Did not find a fully god roll. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep that one. All right. And get rid of this one. All right, and now let's see how I am on the proficiency. So go to Marksman Rifle, go down to Dread Edict, and now it is fully proficient. Boom. So now I have a fully proficient Dread Edict that was at rank zero at the beginning of this video. And then all I do is come over here to the optimization, go to Marksman Rifle, click on the Dread Edict, and look at this, one optimization. Boom. And now I have a fully proficient, God-rolled Dread Edict. And you can do that for all three of the new exotics. Nice and that's exactly you. how you do it, start to finish. So I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, and if you uh, found this helpful, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Shout out again to the uh, PlayStation DoD. We're having some fun this week. A little friendly banter. I'm trying to keep up on the leaderboard, but we'll see. It's hard, man. These guys are machines. But all right. Take care, everybody. Have a good rest of your weekend. I am Kamikaze Von Doom, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.